the Delco Tour 3 to me, I mean, is a chance for me to get back in there to to uh, deal with the adversity of losing and, and come back and reestablish myself as the number one fighter. People gave me the same thing when I, when I fought him the second time. Now, can you get past the fact that you lost him to them the first time? I said, that's no problem. I thought I should have beat him the first time. I hope Chuck plants his damn feet and tries to stand there and knock me out. That would be the best thing he could do for me because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow through him and put him right on his head on the mat. I am going to catch him. I am going to put him to sleep. Saturday has finally arrived. The Las Vegas Strip is talking about one event and one event only. It is Liddell Couture 3 for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship inside the sold out Mandalay Bay Event Center. We are set for truly the biggest night in the history. Fighting Championship. It began way back in 1993. This odyssey of battles that would take place inside an octagon. Now over a decade and hundreds of fights later, we go back to two styles, mano a mano. The wrestler against the kickboxer for the title of greatest light heavyweight champion ever. My partner is always Joe Rogan. Joe, I know it's not as simple as that present day. I will tell you one thing, this fight may come down to who wants it more, who bleeds more, and who desires to be the champion again more. This fight is so, it's so hard to call. I've been at, getting asked questions all week. Who's gonna win, who's, and, and I usually don't give opinions on that. I don't, I don't give predictions, but this one's impossible to tell. I can see it happening either way. It all depends on which fighter has learned the most from the two encounters, which fighter has made the most adjustments, has Randy recovered from the knockout loss psychologically, has Chuck become overconfident from the knockout? Let us talk first about the Iceman, the light heavyweight champion Chuck Liddell. Tell me if he wins tonight, what type of validation he would get from another victory over Randy Couture. Well, you know, if you look at it, if there's, MMA has a Hall of Fame, Chuck Liddell is already a Hall of Famer. I mean, he's had KO victories about over some of the best in the game. Baba Lou, Guy Metzger, Tito Ortiz, Randy Couture. I mean, that is a who's who of mixed martial arts fighters, and he's KO'd all of them. Would you say that Chuck Liddell has already reached legendary status? Yes, definitely. Chuck Liddell is already a legend, but he has a chance to cement himself as the best 205-pounder of all time. He's avenged one of his losses. He has two more. What, I mean, who knows what's going to happen in the future with Chuck Liddell. But we, he's got to get past Randy Couture tonight. And Randy Couture is a determined man, and you can't bet against that guy. It's so hard to count him out, even at 42 years of age. He's a phenomenal athlete with tremendous heart, and he wants this so bad. Randy Couture will be a UFC Hall of Famer, but Randy Couture may make his last appearance inside the octagon tonight if he cannot defeat Chuck Liddell and once again regain the light heavyweight championship. We may tonight, Joe, say so long to a legend. It's so hard for these warriors to lay down their sword, you know? The, the, the excitement of the battle is just too much. It's so great to live in that amplified condition. It's so hard to go back to regular life. Randy, the natural couture, has said and said before, one day I will lose the battle with Father Time. Will tonight be that time? It is truly the biggest fight in UFC history. And in addition to that, we welcome back the former heavyweight champion. He has recovered. He is set to return. He is Frank Mir, a submission specialist, dynamic fighter. The headlines read as such. The Las Vegas product involved in September of 2004 in a horrific motorcycle accident. To a lesser athlete, his career would have been over. His leg could have been shattered. Initially, this accident was believed to be career threatening. So I ask you simply, Joe, what can we expect from Frank Mir tonight? We can expect answers. That's all we can expect. Well, who knows how his leg is? I mean, that, it was a very serious break. A break of the femur like that oftentimes leads to amputation. We look at the uh, the.
x-rays here. Take a look at Frank Mir's leg. He's got a titanium rod and screws through it. That's in there right now holding his leg in place. And I don't, I'm not a doctor, but I gotta assume that that leg is probably weaker because of that. I mean, I, I, the, the, the bend in the right, leg, the right. ability for the leg to be flexible is part of the strength of the leg. It's a very difficult injury to recover from and it takes a long time. He's been out for over a year. He was supposed to come back several times in the past, but he didn't think that his recovery was uh, far enough along. Well, he is back and back with a vengeance tonight. We will tell you this about Frank Mir. He is as talented a heavyweight fighter as we have ever had in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He's a master on the ground, taking on another master on the ground in Marcio Cruz. Yeah, Marcio Pedepano Cruz is an Abu Dhabi veteran but Frank Mir is has got a lot more mixed martial arts experience. He's got a lot better hands and feet, and much better stand-up. Pei DePano, though, is a fantastic ground specialist. Not a good stand-up fighter, but world-class jiu-jitsu fighter. I'll tell you what, we have talked about this night for many, many days, many weeks, many months, and finally, UFC fans, this night has arrived. This truly is the greatest night in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, and we begin the evening with a magnificent welterweight matchup. First up, we have the very tough and experienced Nick Diaz coming off a titanic fight with Diego Sanchez, taking on the incredible shrinking man, a guy who once fought at 300 pounds, now down to the 170 class in a must-win situation, Joe Riggs. And in the light heavyweight division, Joe, how about Babalu, the number one contender, taking on Mike Van Arsdale? Babalu is what many people believe is the toughest guy in the 205-pound division outside of the two men fighting for the title this evening. Very experienced guy taking on fantastic wrestler, former national wrestling champion Mike Van Arsdale. Our rules of the octagon, three judges will score the bout, the bout duration three five-minute rounds, or for our championship fight, five five-minute rounds. Once again, a 10-point must scoring system is in effect with the round winner gaining 10 points, his opponent nine or less, based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. He is truly the kid from the streets of Stockton who feels dead. The Chicago Bulls. Here's a star, Josh Koscheck in the house tonight. Ultimate Fighter One Superstar. What a great start to our Super Saturday here at the Mandalay Bay. And you know what? We will be right back here in Las Vegas with the middleweight title on the line in a month. UFC fighters from the USA and Canada will come together for one night to represent their country. Oh, big left, left hand. And a high kick. Leading Team USA will be UFC middleweight champion of the world, Rich Franklin. Wow. The sound goes Alex Murray. Coles. Wow. As he takes on the dangerous Canadian, David the Crow Luazo. Luazo has an anti Oh, David the Crow. Oh, oh, he's, he's got him good. Spinning back into the and body. Down he goes. Hurt. And it is all over. Also, in what could be the fight of the year, former welterweight world champion BJ Penn. More time to the big knees. Oh, oh he's out bad. Oh, oh big he's out. He's out. It is all over. It wow. is all over. Takes on one of the most dominant fighters in the sport today, George Rush St. Pierre. Ultimate Fighting Championship presents UFC 58 live Saturday, March 4th from the Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Only on pay-per-view. Oh, uh, what a battle it will be at 185 pounds. Rich Franklin against David the Crow Lawazo for the middleweight title and the return of BJ Penn as he takes on welterweight superstar George St. Pierre. Yes, we will be right back here March 4th, 10 in the East, 7 in the West. Tickets are available now. The show live only on pay-per-view. Oh my goodness, we are here tonight, UFC 57, to complete the trilogy, which is Randy against Chuck. Every time he pauses to throw a punch, beating him to it and setting him up and putting him on the ground numerous times until he's just tired and can't get back up. I think Randy's going to come back with a 
good game plan. I think this is going to be a great fight. I, I expect it to be a good war. I think if this fight uh, finish in the first round, it's because Liddell win by knockout. But if this fight uh, pass the first round, Kutz are going to win. For the main event, I don't know who to pick. Both these guys are amazing fighters. They both had their moments in their fights. But uh, you know what? I truly believe the fans are going to win for this fight. It's going to be an awesome fight. I'm, I'm so psyched. I, I watched one and two, and I, I predicted them wrong t in the first two, but I'm going to predict it right tonight. I think uh, Chuck Liddell wins in two. I think they're going to stand up. They're going to go to blows. I think Randy's going to want to go to the floor, but Chuck's going to stay up. He's going to be a second round knockout. I think uh, Liddell's got him on a second round TKO. I think so. Right hand hook, right to the jaw. Well, there he is, the present day light heavyweight champion of the world, the most dangerous striker at 205 pounds, the belt holder. Chuck the Iceman Liddell trying to validate his championship by defeating Randy Couture on a second occasion. Randy the Natural Couture, 42 years old, extremely relaxed during this time. He has done some training for this fight at high altitude. He has teamed with heavyweight champion Andre Arlovsky. He seems to be extremely focused and ready for this, our main event of the evening. Next in line may very well be the man we will feature right now. But to retain his status as top light heavy next for the light heavyweight championship. UFC 57, Liddell versus Couture 3 is being brought to you by the Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino. Mandalay Bay, where excitement begins on the Las Vegas Strip. By Science, Science Extreme Supplements for Extreme Athletes, available at GNC stores nationwide. By Amped Mobile, watch UFC fights on Amped Mobile phones. To get Amped, go to ampd.com. And by Running Scared, New Line Cinema's film Running Scared in theaters Friday, February 24th. All right, so Baba Lou wants to know who he will get next, and we want to know who will become the greatest light heavyweight champion in UFC history. Will it be the present title holder, the winner of Liddell Couture 2, Chuck the Iceman Liddell, the most dangerous striker in the UFC, who knocked out Randy Couture the last time they met, or will the 42-year-old fully his? It is our main event of the evening. You are looking live into the locker room of Chuck the Iceman Liddell. See Chuck just loosening up with some punches to the body there. Chuck's footwork was so much more crisp in the second matchup between he and Randy Couture. And Chuck oh. having some fun as he knows he is live inside the locker room right now. And Randy the Natural Couture talking to everyone in his camp. They tell us he has never been so ready. And mentally, physically, he has a game plan. And that is what has made Randy so special all these years. Joe, he always comes with a game plan. Absolutely, and, and he doesn't just come with a game plan. He comes with uh, an indomitable will to impose that game plan. I and mean, that's one of the, the most impressive things about Randy is that he forces his will on fighters. He's a, an incredibly strong, a mentally incredibly strong guy, and he forces that strength on him. He knows that when the heat gets turned up, he's going to be able to take it more than most. Well, a great job done in both the careers of Randy the Natural Couture, a definitive UFC Hall of Famer to be, and his opponent tonight, the light heavyweight champion, Chuck the Iceman Liddell. It is our main event of the evening. Previous meetings between these two fighters, we have talked about it at length. Couture with the TKO of Liddell, June 6th of 2003. He took him down and took him down at will. Dirty boxing was prominently displayed, but Liddell got him about two years later. And you gotta think that the last fight was the closest one and the, the one that has the most bearing on tonight's bout. Chuck Liddell is so confident now coming into this fight and Randy Couture has so much to prove. This is a night filled with stars 
of UFC past and present. Hi, I'm Amber Nicole, and you're watching UFC 57. Up next, the return of Frank Mir. And inside your heart to get back up, and I guess he'll have to go back and find some more heart and try to return successfully another day. Coming up, the main event of the evening, the main event perhaps in UFC history. Chuck the Iceman Liddell meets Randy the Natural Couture for a third and what many believe final time to find out who will be the greatest light heavyweight champion in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. There he is, Captain America, Randy the Natural Couture, who at one point made my partner beck in the words, that man is my hero. And those words have haunted me ever since. <laughs> oh, you got ad. that right. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, he he is definitely one of my heroes. The guy's a phenomenal athlete and uh, uh, a fantastic example of indomitable spirit and will and intelligence and just tenacity. He's just a, a fantastic fighter and a great champion. And here is another fantastic fighter and a great champion, Chuck Liddell, loosening up with his longtime coach, John Hackleman. Ah, the Iceman can throw. <laughs> you know, I, I have a feeling there's a little red light, so the boys know when they're on camera. It's nice to see, prior to the biggest fight in both of these men's career, that they are both light, they're ready, they're relaxed, and they are uh, anxious, if you are Chuck Liddell, to validate what is, in many minds, already his legendary status. Yeah, and these guys have faced each other. They know what to expect. They're both mixed martial arts veterans who've been in the octagon so many times. I mean, I have two sheets here for Randy Couture. Everybody else gets one sheet. Randy Couture, when they, they hand me the list of his accomplishments, it doesn't fit on one sheet. It's two sheets long. These guys are guys who are going to fight and going to perform up to their physical potential. There'll be no mental blockage. There'll be no nerves. These guys will fight like champions. Well, there is Kirk Sticky Jones, an actor from Blade, which premieres June of 2006 on Spike. The first installment features a showdown between that man, Blade, and the UFC's own light heavyweight champion, the often mentioned Chuck the Iceman Liddell. So he is here, Blade tonight. Uh, Sticky is ready to rock and roll with Chuck Liddell, but Chuck's got a real fight prior to that, and we'll be right back here in about a month. A sensational Super Saturday tonight here at the Mandalay Bay, and in one month, we welcome back former UFC champion, none other than BJ Penn. UFC fighters from the USA and Canada will come together for one night to represent their country. Oh, big left hand! And a high kick! Leading Team USA will be UFC middleweight champion of the world, Rich Franklin. Wow! This town goes Alex blurry! Coles. Wow! As he takes on the dangerous Canadian, David the Crow Luazo. Luazo has an anti Oh, David big with the body. Oh, he's got him good. Spinning back into the and body. Down, and, down, he's and it is all over! Also, in what could be the fight of the year, former welterweight world champion BJ Penn. Muay Thai clinch and a big knee! Oh, oh he's out bad. Oh, oh big left hand. He's out. He's it's out. all over. Wow. It's all over. Takes on one of the most dominant fighters in the sport today, George Rush St. Pierre. Good right hand. He's lost. George St. Pierre has jumped out. Great trick. The Ultimate Fighting Championship presents UFC 58 live Saturday, March 4th from the Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Only on pay-per-view. So the main event of the evening for the middleweight championship, Rich Ace Franklin against the Crow David Loazzo and BJ Penn is back in the octagon to take on rising star George St. Pierre. It is March 4th right back here at the Mandalay Bay Event Center. Tickets on sale now live on pay-per-view UFC 58. Saturday, March 4th, 10 in the East, 7 in the West. So our unofficial home for Ultimate Fighting Action here to begin the year 2006, the Mandalay Bay Event Center. Glad to be with you tonight. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan set now for the heavyweights. Heavy-handed Militich fighter Justin Eilers trying to put the setbacks behind him. 
And truth be told, Eiler's game plan to knocking out an opponent in devastating fashion, as Mike Kyle found out in Eiler's UFC debut at UFC 49. Eilers always comes looking for a war and really tried to take it to heavyweight champion Andre Arlovsky at UFC 53 before blowing out his knee towards the end of the first round. Now Eilers is healed up and is looking to add to his knockout total in his octagon return. I like to fight. I like to stand and uh, throw leather. And, uh, you know, I like fighting opponents that want to do that as well. Brandon The Truth Vera is a brown belt in jiu-jitsu and has won many submission competitions, but he has become known lately for his dangerous striking ability. At Ultimate Fight Night, Vera showed what he could do against the much larger Fabiano Scherner, finishing him with knees at 3 minutes and 22 seconds of the second round. At 5-0, many people think that Vera has what it takes to be a real contender. Justin is kind of crazy. Like, he doesn't have any regard for his own personal safety. He's already missing a tooth. He doesn't care if he gets hit. He said he'd fight his own mom. Uh, it's going to make for an interesting fight. Coming up next, Justin Eilers takes on Brandon, the truth bearer. And his opponent, Brandon, the truth bearer. I was very impressed with this man in his octagon debut against Fabiano Scherner. He trains with Lloyd Irvin on the ground. He's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu under Lloyd Irvin, a very well-respected jiu-jitsu coach. And he trains in Muay Thai under the best kickboxer of all time, Rob Kamen. And he trains out of the Bomb Squad in Hollywood. I've had a chance to see this guy train numerous times. He's a fantastic athlete. He could fight at either weight, 205 pounds or heavyweight chooses to fight at heavyweight, but his ultimate goal is to win titles in both divisions. Heavyweight, and then drop down to 205 and challenge the victor there. I have heard the phrase used with Brandon Vera that he is the next big thing. He is a can't-miss fighter. Do you agree with that assessment? Absolutely, absolutely. If this guy stays in the course he's on now, he without a doubt is championship material. He has excellent stand-up, he's got excellent ground skills, he's very intelligent, very crafty, creative in the octagon. He's a very well-rounded mixed martial arts fighter. It's a pleasure to watch him fight. Well, he did a nice job in his UFC debut, beating Fabiano Scherner, a TKO due to some vicious knees in the second round. That was as a heavyweight. These two men, Justin Eilers and Brandon Vera, meet as heavyweights again tonight. And the comparison has been made as well that he is a heavyweight George St. Pierre, the way he comes and comes and comes again. Our tale of the tape brought to you by Zion's Extreme Supplements for Extreme Athletes, available at GNC stores nationwide. Pretty much everything is equal. There is a three inch reach advantage for Brandon Vera, but he is very comfortable on the ground. If, if you assess everything that he has in his heading, coming up one month from today, oh wait, 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 there she is, the soon-to-be Mrs. Brandon Vera. Thoughts about your future husband's fight? Oh my goodness, it was awesome. It was, it was great. I love you! <laughs> Congratulations to the both of you. Congratulations on your fight. Everyone's welcome to the wedding. It only holds 100 people, but everybody can show up. Brandon the Truth Vera, ladies and gentlemen! Wow. Congratulations, Brandon. All right, coming up one month from today, March 4th, right back here, the Mandalay Bay Event Center. It is UFC 58, the middleweight title on the line that night. Rich Franklin against David Loazzo. BJ Penn returns to the octagon to take on George St. Pierre. Thursday, April 6th, live on Spike TV, Ultimate Fight Night. That will be.